Hi, uh, this is Kazim Ali, and I want to read you a short selection of poems by um, a poet, a black poet, who has just been incredibly important to me um, throughout my life as a human, as a thinker, as um, someone, you know, who is concerned about the world, um, and as a writer as well. So these poems are all from her, um, they're from various different volumes, but they're all in collected poems of Lucille Clifton. So um, this is a poem called For Her Hiding Place. For her hiding place in whiteness for Angela, straightening her hair to cloud white eyes for the yellow skin of Angela and the scholarships to hide in for Angela. For Angela, if we forget our sister while they have her, let our hair fall straight onto our backs like death. So I have so much to say about these poems, but I just want to make a nice short video for you. Um, so I'm just going to read them and maybe I'll make another long one where I just talk about them. This is one of the first poems by Lucille Clifton I ever read. It's called Cutting Greens. Curling them around, I hold their bodies in obscene embrace, thinking of everything but kinship. Collards and kale strain against each other, away from my kiss-making hand and the iron bed pot. The pot is black. The cutting board is black my hand and just for a minute the greens roll black under the knife the kitchen twists dark on its spine and i taste in my natural appetite the bond of live things everywhere i do love that poem so much this is a poem called Whose Side Are You On? And um, I think that is a question worth um, asking. Whose side are you on? The side of the bus stop woman trying to drag her bag up the front stairs before the doors clang shut. I am on her side. I give her exact change, and him, the old man hanging by one strap, his work hand folded shut as the bus doors. I'm on his side. When he needs to leave, I ring the bell. I'm on their side. Riding the late bus into the same someplace, I am on the dark side always, the side of my daughters the side of my tired sons. Um, this poem is a poem that is from, it was from her collection, The Book of Light, um, which came out in the, um, I think 91 or 90, no, 93. And it's for Columbus Day, 1991 is when it was written. So it is, it's actually somewhat a pessimistic poem here anyhow, but realistic. Seeker of visions. What does this mean to see walking men wrapped in the color of death, to hear from their tongues such difficult syllables? Are they the spirits of our hope or the pale ghosts of our future? Who will believe the red road will not run on forever? Who will believe a tribe of ice might live and we might not? And I'm going to close with two short poems. This one is called The Raising of Lazarus. The dead shall rise again. Whoever say dust must be dust, don't see the trees. Smell rain. Remember Africa. Everything that goes can come. 
stand up. Even the dead shall rise. And I'm going to close with this poem that means so much to me these days especially, so much to me. It's called After Kent State. Only to keep his little fear, he kills his cities and his trees, even his children. Oh, people, white ways are the way of death. Come into the black and live. So the great Lucille Clifton.